In the next series of videos, we are going to make uh, an alternative to Netflix uh, called Notflix, if you will. And it's this page, single page app over here, that is a image driven site that has a bunch of cool features. So um, to give you a broad overview of what's going on, we have, we're starting with HTML5 boilerplate to give us a good baseline. From there, we're going to build the user interfaces, which are all the visual components that you see here. Of course, uh, responsive design is uh, our first consideration when building this. We're using a lot of cool third-party plugins to give us a slew of awesome functionality like this slider over here, um, this slider menu optimized for mobile. Um, when we click on any one of these videos, we have a nice responsive overlay over here. Uh, give it a second. It's just loading one of the uh, videos. I'm using Tor browser because I wanted to illustrate some cool uh, features, especially for mobile, because this is a slower um, slower browser because it's encrypted, so it's going to show us some of the nice features. Uh, what we have as well is when we click, look at that, it just slides right to them, and we go down, we have some nice preloading images over here, and that's all the cool uh, user interface type stuff that we did. Um, from the other point of view is we wanted to increase the user experience, especially when they were on mobile. And to do that, we used some very cool image optimization tools that allowed us to optimize our images to be as small as possible without losing any uh, quality. And we'll be doing that. We did some performance enhancements. Um, this lazy load over here is a great performance enhancement because it'll only load images when they're in the viewport. So from a uh, usability standpoint from the user, uh, they get to quickly see images on the page, especially on mobile, if you think about it. You're on a mobile network. It, if we waited for all of these images to download at once, uh, they'd be waiting forever. So they get a really quick experience. And not only that, if they are waiting for images to load, they get that visual feedback that something's happening. So uh, give us a second. Now, we use uh, Chrome DevTools in order to uh, get to analyze our results as well as the page speed extension which gives us even more information on the updates that we could do to really fine tune it. So we do minification, we lint all of our code, and of course um, after we we get the big two building blocks, the user interface, the user experience. We go in and we really fine tune it with uh, what I would call the last iteration of the of the project, really the polish, where we go in and we test, we have everything uploaded and we poke around and say, hey, how can we make things better and make the overall user experience? So that's what you're in store for for the next series of videos. Stay tuned.